I'm going to show you how to turn your photo hero banner into a video hero banner. This works for any Shopify 2.0 theme. No special coding skills are required. Anyone can do this. Before we get into the video, if you like videos about winning products, drop shipping, Shopify themes, apps, and tutorials, do us a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on. Now let's get into the video. I'm going to show you how to do this for Shopify's free theme Dawn, but you can do the same thing for any 2.0 theme. I've tried this on Shopify's newest theme Taste and Sense as well, so I'm confident this will work with any 2.0 theme you try. But if you do end up running into any issues and need some help, you can visit our website and fill out a store tweaks request and we can help you out. Alright, so the first thing we are going to do is duplicate your existing theme. I'm not suggesting this because I think it's going to mess up your store, but rather so you can work on this without it interfering with your live store. To do this, click Actions, Duplicate. Once your theme has successfully duplicated, click on Actions, Edit Code. Now, if you're tensing up and thinking you should click off at this point because you don't want to mess around with the code, don't worry, this is a simple copy and paste code. You don't need to do anything further. Now scroll down to Sections and click Add New Section. Name it Video Dash Background. Then click Create Section. You're going to have some auto-generated code in here, so just highlight and erase all of that, and instead we're going to paste in the video code. For the video code, a huge thank you to ecomexperts.io for sharing the original code. I altered some of the code in order for it to work with 2.0 themes. There was a spacing issue with the original code and I also switched up the look, but if you're using an older non 2.0 Shopify theme such as Debut, their original code will likely work for you. I'm going to put their website in the description box below, but for simplicity's sake, rather than directing you to their website to copy the code and then walking you through all of the edits, I just created a text document with the updated code which you can download from our private Facebook group. So when you have the code, just copy the contents and then paste it into your file here and click save. Now let's check to see if our section has been added. So click on online store and click customize. Then scroll down to the bottom, click add section, and you should see video background. Go ahead and click on that. Now I'm going to drag this right up to the top because I want it to be my hero banner. If you click on video slide, you can see all of your options here. The first thing we're going to do is add our video. Now, if you don't have a video, I highly recommend going to pexels.com to find one. It's my favorite website for free, high quality photos and videos. Type in anything that would work for what you sell. So if you have a pet store, you might type in dog, or if you sell electronics, you might type in keyboard. For Dawn, since it's a clothing theme, I typed in dress. Then what you want to do is click videos so that it shows you only videos. Then click orientation and select horizontal. Then what you want to do is scroll through and see if anything catches your eye. Shopify does have a 20 MB limit on videos, so don't choose a video that's a minute long. You want something more like 5, 10, or 15 seconds long. If you find one that you really like but it's just slightly over the size limit, you can click this down arrow next to the download button and select a smaller size. If it's still too large, you can scroll down to see similar videos to see if there's something similar that would work instead. Once you have downloaded your video, stay here because we also want to get a cover photo for our video. This is important because when it first loads on your store, you get a glimpse of the default placeholder which we don't want to see, so make sure you replace it. I wish things were organized a little better for finding photos related to the videos, but organization is left up to the author so it's not always easy to find matching photos. The easiest way that I've found is to copy the author's name, then click info, and then take note of what keywords the author has used. So for this one it's white dress wheat field. And then what I do is I click off and then in the search bar I pasted the author's name and I also typed in white dress wheat. Then select photos and if the orientation isn't already set as horizontal make sure to do that. Then start scrolling until you find the correct photo. When you find it, go ahead and click on it. I recommend going with a smaller size than the original because it can negatively affect your store speed, but at the same time you don't want it too small because then it's going to be blurry and stretched out. 
So for this photo, I'm going to select large. Once you've downloaded your photo and video, you will head back to your Shopify dashboard. Click settings, files, click the upload files button, then find and select the video you just downloaded. Once it has been uploaded, click copy link. Now exit up here and go back to customizing your theme. Click on video slide and paste your video link here. Then select your cover image by clicking select image, upload, and then find the photo you just downloaded. After that, you can adjust your text color, add in your button text and link, and then adjust your button background and text color as well. Now that you can see everything clearly, go ahead and edit your text as desired and then you are done. If you like this video and want to see more content like this, you can let me know by giving this video a thumbs up or leaving me a comment down below. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. We post a lot of time sensitive content such as winning products and updates that affect you. So turning on notifications for this channel will let you know as soon as we upload.